Hello everyone, welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this beautiful Sabbath day. Thank you for your love, your endless mercy, your grace. Thank you, Father God, that your mercy is sufficient for us, that your grace is sufficient for us, that one drop of the blood of your Son is enough to cover our sins. Thank you, Father, for sending your Son to die on the cross for our sins so that we can have salvation, so that we can have security in knowing that we will be with you in heaven, in paradise. Father, you are so good to us. You are so kind and loving. You are our faithful God. I praise you. I thank you because you take away bitterness. You take away sorrow. You take away tribulation. You see us through the dark times. In the valleys, we praise you. In the mountains, we praise you. Father, I thank you for going before us and opening up the doors. We ask you, Lord, that now you will go before us and you will open the doors and the eyes and the ears of our heart, of our soul. Allow us to accept your word. Allow us to apply your word to our lives so that we can grow in grace and in knowledge of your holy son father i thank you and i praise you in jesus name amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, Transformed to Make Changes. It was written by Juan Daniel de la Vega, translated by Maria Elena Cardona, and brought to you by your sister Lisa Hernandez. This is taken from the book Musa de Fe, page 116. Our biblical base today comes from John chapter 15, verses 5 through 8. So says the word of God. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him, he bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away as a branch and dries up. And they gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. In the believer's spiritual life, there must be growth. This is clear and eloquent testimony of the scriptures. But that growth is not only evidence of change for our lives. Growth also makes the believer useful in his service to others. Our influence for good depends in large part on what others see in us. Unbelievers judge Christianity not only by what they hear, but especially by what they see. The believer, who is always in the same place without showing any spiritual progress, with the same small faults, with the same weaknesses, always falling into the same sins, will not be able to do any spiritual good to those around him. But the believer, who continually surpasses himself and consistently advances and grows, is the one who makes the people of the world marvel and testify that the gospel is the power of God for salvation and seriously consider the reality of the Christian faith. By looking at growth, you can see that it is real, genuine, and vital. Let's make the commitment to grow every day along the way, not only because it'll do us good, but because others will also be impacted by your life by seeing Christ in us. Amen. My brothers and sisters, our spiritual growth is vital. We have to keep growing. If we are not growing our spiritual life, that means we are growing our fleshly life. The spirit and the flesh cannot both grow. You have to feed one and let the other die. If we feed our flesh, our spirit dies. 
if we feed our spirit then our flesh nature dies my brothers and sisters we have to grow therefore we have to do the things that will make us grow and how do you grow a healthy body by feeding yourself spiritual fruit by feeding yourself the word of god time in prayer fasting fellowshipping with others believers studying the word of god listening to the word of god doing all of the things that we know will help grow our spiritual life we have to do it we must transform and if you're not doing it you will be known because of your lack of fruit if you are growing spiritually you will be known as a child of god by the fruit that you bear are you bearing fruit if you're not bearing fruit you need to ask yourself are you growing spiritually because once you grow spiritually and your transformation is happening you will start to bear fruit it might be little bits of fruit at first but then your fruit is going to grow and grow and grow my brothers and sisters when i received in 2003 my message in part says shine so your testimony can reach others for my kingdom my brothers and sisters are you shining is your fruit being seen because in that way you can reach others for the kingdom of god amen may the lord receive the honor and the glory and now we invite you to check out the youtube channel scc english ministry for our daily bible reading and now we ask that the blessed love of god the grace and peace of our lord and savior jesus christ the companion and communion of the holy spirit our great counselor be with all of his children now and forever. Amen.